Prince William heads to New York for UN General Assembly Climate Week event. Welcome to the royal family of my channel. The future king is spending two days in New York City to promote his ambitious environmental prize, the Earthshot Prize. During his brief step over in the U.S. to honor the 2023 Earthshot Prize finalists, the Prince of Wales will speak with UN Secretary General Antonio Guterres. William will have a meeting with Mr. Guterres on Monday during the UN General Assembly in New York, which coincides with the city's annual Climate Week event, which brings together business executives, government officials, and members of civil society to advance the transition to a sustainable future. Related as they accompany schoolchildren in the outdoors, Prince William splits wood and Kate hides in a den. With our free weekly lifestyle aid at email, stay on top of the latest trends in fashion and beyond. I want to receive emails from the independent with offers, events, and information. Check out our privacy notice. During his brief step over in the U.S. to honor the 2023 Earthshot Prize finalists, the Prince of Wales will speak with UN Secretary General Antonio Guterres. William will have a meeting with Mr. Guterres on Monday during the UN General Assembly in New York, which coincides with the city's annual Climate Week event which brings together business executives, government officials, and members of civil society to advance the transition to a sustainable future. The future king is spending two days in New York City promoting his ambitious environmental prize, the Earthshot Prize, which is in its third year. The prince will visit the Billion Oyster Project to learn more about the initiative's goal of restoring oyster reefs to New York Harbor with the aid of schoolchildren and volunteers before visiting the world statesman. Thank you. Please subscribe to my channel. He will go to the Earthshot Prize Innovation Summit on Tuesday to see the projects of the 2023 finalists and to hear their names announced. Along with former New York mayor and business news magnate Mike Bloomberg, an international advisor to Earthshot Prize winners, former New Zealand Prime Minister Dame Jacinda Ardern, an Earthshot trustee, and Microsoft co-founder Bill Gates, he will address delegates. The first summit was conducted in New York last year, but the heir to the throne was scheduled to attend but was unable to go since the royal family was in sorrow after Queen Elizabeth's passing. The $1 million prize fund will be awarded to the winners in five categories, or earth shots, including protect and restore nature, clean our air, revive our oceans, build a waste-free society, and fix our climate. His reward aspires to identify and scale up revolutionary ideas to heal the globe. The third award presentation, which follows those held in Boston, the previous year in London's Alexander Palace in 2021, will take place in Singapore in November. Prince William's first solo trip to the U.S. will not include Prince Harry. Prince William is prepared to win over Americans' hearts during a quick two-day visit to New York while promoting crucial worldwide causes. The Duke of Cambridge plans to engage New York's firefighters in discussions on mental health in addition to expanding the scope of his Earthshot Innovation Awards internationally. It is his first solo journey to the U.S. in an official position, and it coincides with reports that his popularity there is on the rise. Recent Gallup polls indicate that the Prince of Wales is more popular with the public than President Joe Biden of the United States and even Volodymyr Zelensky of Ukraine. According to a recent YouGov poll, Princess Kate Middleton is still the most beloved British royal in the U.S. William and Prince Harry, who follow her in popularity, are similarly well-liked. In the meantime, Meghan Markle is not very popular with Americans. He will have private meetings in New York with other world leaders and UN Secretary General Antonio Guterres. This demonstrates William's growing stature outside of his role as British royalty as a world leader. Observers have noted a rise in interest in the royal in the U.S., especially among younger Americans who were very concerned about environmental issues. Daisy Prince, the editor of the New York-based Digital Party newsletter, noted that this group is drawn to Prince William's emphasis on environmental issues. Prince William will be accompanied by Kate Blanchett, a two-time Oscar winner and ardent supporter of his Earthshot Prize, adding glamour to his visit. Major American television networks have repeatedly requested interviews with Kensington Palace, but Kensington Palace has turned them all down, according to the Daily Express. Senior advisors have reportedly said that William won't talk about anything that can deflect attention, including his tense relationship with Prince Harry. While visiting the U.S., Prince Harry cannot ignore the heroic Prince William. 
As Prince Harry returns from the Invictus Games, Prince William travels for two days to New York. On Tuesday, Prince William will unveil the candidates for his annual Earthshot Prize Award during a two-day trip to New York. The Prince of Wales is expecting to be greeted as a hero after his much-awaited trip across the pond. In Hugo polls, William trails only his wife Kate Middleton in popularity, ahead of both his brother Prince Harry and Meghan Markle. According to Daisy Prince, founder and editor of the New York-based Digital Party Weekly, who spoke to Express.co.uk, Prince Harry's estranged brother is expected to become even more well-liked among young Americans because eco-stuff is huge with them. As the kids in the U.S. really care about it, so the fact he's spearheading that is great, Daisy predicted that William would have a tremendously warm welcome. I think there's respect for somebody who's not always speaking out and is getting on with the job and solidarity with William for putting one foot in front of the other," she continued. Following the conclusion of his first Invictus Games on Sunday, Prince Harry will be returning to the United States. Although the two brothers will be in the same nation, it is doubtful that they will run into one other because William intends to completely disregard his younger brother. The Sunday Times claims that the future king has categorically refused to respond to any inquiries about King Charles' younger son in any interviews. William will meet with UN Secretary General Antonio Guterres during the UN General Assembly, but Kate Middleton won't be traveling with him.